Hi everybody. Uh, you'll need in front of you the Seller Spa document uh, from Snorkel Software uh, to run through. Um, but essentially, what I'm going to show you in the next uh, five to ten minutes is uh, how to enter a spa sale into Spa Pos. Um, this assumes that you've been at the spa side with the customer, you've done the deal, you know the make, model, colours, and all the specifications. So if you haven't logged in already, please log in with your details, as you can see here. Uh, in this instance, I'm going to choose, say, a Monsoon Pearl Shadow Coastal Grey uh, with premium lights and spa touch um, at a discounted price. So essentially what we're going to first is sell a spa. So again, keep in mind the deal's been done, the customer's sitting in front of you, you've just said, just one moment please, let me input this into the system and show you what you want to do. So really what we need to do is go into build a spa. This complete list here shows all the spas that are available as per um, the Just Spas offering, Spa Industries offering. Easiest thing to do is to search for the Monsoon. So you can either click it on there, click search. So I've just typed in Monsoon. I could type in Cyclone. I could type in the length, the width, number of seats, and it would pull up below here all the options that match those type of things. But generally, you're going to know what you're selling. You're going to search for that, and away we go. So generally you're going to have an in-ground, below-ground, obviously monsoon sports or storm sports, that sort of thing will pop up. In this instance, we want the monsoon luxury. There's the list price, which we can alter if required, um, but we'll go into view. This is the overview of the spa that you're selling. So a couple of things here. Looking along the top here, we've got general, which is going to show you the de details, dimensions, all that sort of stuff. We've got some images of the, of the aerial view, there may be some other ones down the track and then included options. So signal, single cabinet board, corner lights, circulation pump upgrade, and ozone are all in there. You can see the prices on there as well. So these are already in there, no need to tick on them. Very similar to SpaDot, using the same sort of interface from there. The last thing on here is interesting, so stock to rock. So this shows you the current stock to rock of what spas that are in there. So you can see that there's two um, spas in here, both Bs. Cyclone Monsoon, well these are pluses, so they don't exactly match, but they are monsoons. Uh, they're in Ocean Wave and Moroccan with Slate Grey. So they don't match what we want to sell. So really what you would do at this point after you've checked Stock to Rock is go to the top right hand corner up here of Configure. So essentially we want to configure the spa that we've just sold to this person who's sitting in front of you. First page that comes up or the first tab that comes up is the summary. So you can see on here we've just got the monsoon, all the options that are included in there. Um, price, costs, all that type of thing, and down here it's going to give you a, a, an overall retail list price. Worry about the price in a little moment if we can, um, but let's go through and what we want to do is basically configure this bar. So from the summary, we're going to the colour section, colour selection, we want to choose the acrylic colour. So let's edit that. All different colour options, obviously uh, Microban has the extra cost in there. We want to go Pearl Shadow. So I've just added that. You can see that it's added there as well. So up in the top right hand corner here, we want to go back to build a spa. So that's the button we're going to keep going back to. So you can see here acrylic color, pearl shadow is selected. We want to change that. We can go into edit, but really we want to just do the rest of it. So the color of the cabinet. In this instance, we're going to go coastal gray. So we're just adding information as we go. Back to the spa build, back to the upgrade here. So cabinet color, Coastal Grey has been selected, Pearl Shadow, we're on track. Next thing is the cover colour. Click on the colour cover and we're going to go with granite in this instance. So we're going to add that. So, so far we've chosen the spa, the colour of the acrylic, the colour of the cabinet and the colour of the cover. Back to spa build. That kind of covers off the major components of the selection. Let's say you've sold this spa from your uh, floor stock. Uh, so let's say that the floor stock model had premium lights. So we've got all different options that are available. Premium lights, um, spa touch, circ pumps, ozone, UV, all these things that are offered by Spa Industries. In this instance, we're going to go into lighting options. Sorry. So lighting options here. So select premium lights. So we're going to add that because that's what we've sold to the customer. Simply add it in there as well. So we're slowly adding things to the spa. Back to the configurator, top right hand corner. We're going to have a summary in here as well. Sorry, some of the options again. So entertainment, heating options, we can put gas heating on, etc, etc. Let's go luxury options next, and we're going to add spa touch. You can see here we can add extra waterfalls, uh, 
of global Wi-Fi, microsilk, etc., etc., but we want to do spa touch. We'll save that as well. So you can see we update here we've got update complete. That keeps adding as you keep changing things in there as well. Back to the configurator. So we've got the summary of the spa, where we are at the moment. We've got premium light, spa touch, all the color options here. We've done our color selection. We've done options. We've thought about what the spa has. Accessories. You can go in and add cover lifters, all those type of things. In this instance, we've let's say we've sold it with a step. So we're going to go down and add the smart step, or the easy to turn a wood step, sorry. Save that in there. Again, back up to the top right, back to the configurator. Startup pack, we're going to put some chemicals in with this as well. So we go with the Spa Clear chemical kit. Let's add that as well. So we think about what we've sold with the customer. We eventually will click through this very quickly and we get to the point warranty options, don't worry about, about at the moment, that'll come later. So now we're really down to finalizing the order. So this is where we're going to turn your computer around and we're just going to say, just to clarify, let's call it call him Joe Blogs. Here's what we've sold you. So we've, we've just we've just bought the monsoon in Pearl Shadow, Coastal Grey Eternal Wood with a slate grey or graphite cover. As we discussed, the floor model has premium lighting, which is valued at $599. It has a spa touch upgrade, as you can see, which is $390. And I've got a step and a chemical kit included in there as well. As you can see, this is $17,000, but what we've done is obviously done a rounded figure and we've sold it to you for, say, $14,000. So we're going to do a discount amount in here. So uh, $3,564 we're going to do as a discount. That'll bring that sale price down now to $14,000. At this point, we're going to ask the customer for a few of their details. So the first name is Joe. His last name is Blogs. His phone number is one two three four five six seven. Mobile number is the same. Email address can be anything. Say so Joe at blogs. Now address. This is important for um, for delivery down the track. So let's try and make this correct. So let's say we're at 76 North Street or North Terrace, South Australia, for example. Spa potential code. This is when you're doing a quote. So spa potential will either be uh, warm, cold, um, or hot. But this will come later. At this point, we're just working on selling a spa, so please ignore this spa potential code. So we can save and suspend this sale at the moment if the customer wants to think further about it, but really what we want to do is create a quote and really create a sale. By clicking this button, it kind of does both. I'll show you. So we click on create quote slash sale. So now we have a job set aside on the sales order for Joe Blogs. Started on this date. There's the detail. So we have an overview. Here's the customer's details. We can go in and edit and change as we need to. There's the delivery address down here. Customer PO if required. Lines is the further summary that we just showed the customer down to this price. Notes. This is when it's important to add a note in here. So Joe signed up subject to um, side inspection, if I could spell, um, and also um, that what have we got? Subject to site inspection, um, needs to sell old spa prior to delivery. At this stage, it'd be important to put a note in here to tell Joe that it, um, it will be approximately, say, four to six weeks lead time, um, and we will get it in ASAP. Spa in ASAP. This sets the, the tone and the expectations for the customer as well. We want to show these on the tax invoice, yes. Some can be hidden if you want them to. But essentially, we save that note. We can add further notes if we want to as well. So we forgot to do something in it. Also, um, Joe wants add a carton of Corona. He's, he's a lovely bloke. We'll put that in there as well. So separate notes. You can do whatever you like to do in there as well. Order history, again, if we go across overview, we've got lines, we've got notes, we've added a couple in there. Order history, nothing really at this stage. Payments. So now we're going to add a payment. Joe's going to pay us a $2,000 deposit. He's going to pay it by credit card. This is important at a later stage for uh, bank reconciliation, so please make sure that you use the correct uh, system to allocate the payment here. Payment happened on this date. You can put some further notes in. You know, maybe Joe looked dodgy, so I've got his... Uh, 
uh, car uh, license plate number in here as well or whatever else you want to do with some sort of reference but essentially what we're going to do is add a $2,000 payment via credit card add payment you can see down the right hand side here that it updates so you've got now that the $12,000 balance owing administration at this point we can go into several things but really we want to get the customer out the door very quickly so we've done uh, the sale we've got his information in here now we set up a bit of information regarding delivery so this is not necessarily seen by Joe, the the person. It's more for internal, but um, it, you can talk to Joe about it too. So that's the address. Got his email address. It's required. He's going to want it ASAP, or we can he can say, look, it doesn't matter. It's five to eight weeks, something like that. Delivery date. We're going to go in and say, okay, 22nd of July. Now fulfill order. So this is where it's going to go from in stock or manufacturing required. We're going to click in stock in this instance because it's a floor model. If we're going to need manufacturing required, you need to be fairly specific at this stage because it will be pushed into a pending job into Spardot, um, but more on that later. So let's go with an in-stock sale, delivery note, Joe has two dogs. Be careful, um, present for wife, don't call her. 15 out lead. No, we don't need a 15 amp lead in this instance. Obviously, if you click this and you order it through Spardot, you'll be charged for it. Um, I've done this because it's a common issue that we've had in Perth, and it's nice to sort of at least clarify at that stage as well. Now, we're looking at post delivery contact. We'll come to this at a later stage, but basically, we're setting up what Joe's going to get after the spa's delivered. So, really, we want to give Joe a, a spa sale after sale system, which I'll come to in a moment. Uh, there's options for ongoing contact, quote follow up. Obviously, if it's a swim spa sale, it'll have a different, slightly different uh, post-delivery post contact. So now we come to finalize the sale. We could create a quote. You'll see in a moment where this will go to, or we can create a sale. In this instance, we've sold the spa, so we're going to create the sale. So we can email the tax invoice straight to Joe. So he gets a copy of it, which is great. Oops, if I do an email address, it might help. Obviously, that's not a very good email address, but it's gone off. Uh, you can see it's updated here. Uh, we want to do a tax invoice. Obviously, we want to get a signature off Joe at this point to um, basically create the contract. Obviously, the money's gone in, so we're halfway there. We can set this up here to be any particular logo that suits you. Obviously, we want just spas to be there if he's purchasing a spa, but it could be anything after here for um, your particular company's name. It'd be your trading name up here with your ABN, your address, an email contact. Customer's information up here, you can see that's the address, that's his contact details. Uh, tax invoice number gets generated next time you do that one as well, it adds over, clicks over. The date and the original salesperson as per the login. Now we've got the information on the spa, the upgrades, and of course the total cost. We've got the deposit paid, as you can see down here the balance owing is $12,000. Further payment information here in WA, obviously we've got our bank details. Um, we've also got in here further credit, further payments of the balance incur 1.5% surcharge. We can tinker these to suit what you would like to tell the customer. Uh, delivery details. So this is for the customer to really see. You can see that's the address it's going to. Delivery dates five to eight weeks. Um, dispatch from in stock. There's the customer. There's the phone number. And no, there's no 15 amp lead required. As mentioned, we've got notes. Add a carton of Corona. So you print this out, customer signs, you date, you keep one signed copy, customer gets a copy, they've also been emailed a copy, and that pretty much wraps up what you do for a sale. It may seem slightly long-winded, but the process will help you create a, a spa sale that we can use uh, at a later date in SparPos to administer the sale. Um, but for the moment, that's selling a spa. Thank you very much, um, and we'll talk again soon.